In this video, we will do a numerical problem on cost minimization of a firm. In the solution to the given problem, we will write out given total cost function C of Q is equal to 2Q cube minus 16Q square plus 50Q. We need to find the output Q at which the average cost function is minimum. Also, we need to show that at the minimum of average cost, AC equals MC. We know that average cost function is equal to total cost function divided by the units of output produced or AC equals C by Q. Now, since we have been given the total cost function, we can now find the average cost function. The total cost function C, which is a function of Q, is equal to 2Q cube minus 16Q square plus 50Q divided by Q. By splitting the fraction, we have 2Q cube by Q minus 16Q square by Q plus 50Q by Q. Now Q in the numerator can be cancelled out with Q in the denominator. So we are left with 2Q square minus 16Q plus 50. Therefore the average cost function AC is equal to 2Q square minus 16Q plus 50. Now in order to find the output level Q at which the average cost function is minimum, we need to apply the first order condition and second order condition for minimization. Let us find the first order derivative. The first order derivative which is denoted by DAC by DQ that is derivative of AC with respect to Q is equal to derivative with respect to Q of AC that is 2Q square minus 16Q plus 50. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative with respect to q of 2q square minus 16q plus 50 is equal to derivative with respect to q of the first term minus derivative with respect to q of the second term plus derivative with respect to q of the third term. Using the constant times of function rule, the derivative with respect to q of 2q square is equal to 2 times derivative with respect to q of q square minus again using the constant times of function rule the derivative with respect to q of 16q is equal to 16 times derivative with respect to q of q plus the derivative with respect to q of constant 50 is equal to 0 2 times using the power function rule the derivative with respect to q of q square is equal to 2q minus 16 times the derivative with respect to q of q is equal to 1. 2 times 2 equals 4q minus 16 times 1 equals 16. Therefore, the first order derivative dac by dq is equal to 4q minus 16. According to the first order condition for minimization, the first order derivative that is dac by dq must be equal to 0. That is 4q minus 16 must be equal to 0. Or by transferring minus 16 to the right hand side we have 4q equals 16. Or q equals 16 by 4. 4 times 1 equals 4. 4 times 4 equals 16. So q is equal to 4. Therefore stationary point is at Q equals 4. Let us now find the second order derivative. The second order derivative which is denoted by d square ac by dq square is equal to derivative with respect to q of the first order derivative that is dac by dq which is equal to derivative with respect to q of now the first order derivative dac by dq is equal to 4q minus 16. So in place of dac by dq, 
I will write down 4q minus 16. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative with respect to q of 4q minus 16 is equal to derivative with respect to q of the first term minus derivative with respect to q of the second term. Using the constant times a function rule, the derivative with respect to q of 4q is equal to 4 times derivative with respect to q of q minus the derivative with respect to q of constant 16 is equal to 0. The derivative with respect to q of q is equal to 1. 4 times 1 equals 4. According to the second order condition for minimization for the existence of a minimum value, the second order derivative must be positive. Now since 4 is greater than 0, therefore the second order derivative is positive. Therefore, the average cost function is minimum at output level q equals 4. In order to obtain the minimum value of the average cost function, we need to substitute the value of q at which the average cost function is minimum. Now the average cost function is minimum at output level q equals 4. So in place of q, we shall substitute it by 4. 4 raised to the power 2 equals 16 minus 16 times 4 equals 64 plus 50. 2 times 16 equals 32. 32 plus 50 equals 82 minus 64. 82 minus 64 equals 18. Therefore, the minimum value of average cost function equals 18. Also, we need to show that at a minimum of average cost, AC equals MC. Now, marginal cost function MC is equal to DC by DQ. That is derivative of C with respect to Q. Here C is the total cost function. The total cost function of the firm C of Q is equal to 2q cube minus 16q square plus 50q. So in place of c, we will write down 2q cube minus 16q square plus 50q. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative with respect to q of 2q cube minus 16q square plus 50q is equal to derivative with respect to q of the first term minus derivative with respect to q of the second term plus derivative with respect to q of the third term. Using the constant times a function rule, the derivative with respect to q of 2q cube is equal to 2 times derivative with respect to q of q cube minus using the constant times a function rule, the derivative with respect to q of 16q square is equal to 16 times derivative with respect to q of q square plus again using the constant times a function rule the derivative with respect to q of 50q is equal to 50 times derivative with respect to q of q using the power function rule the derivative with respect to q of q cube is equal to 3q square minus 16 using the power function rule the derivative with respect to q of q square is equal to 2q plus 50. The derivative with respect to q of q is equal to 1. 2 times 3 equals 6q square minus 16 times 2 equals 32q plus 50 times 1 equals 50. Therefore, the marginal cost function which is equal to dc by dq that is derivative of c with respect to q is equal to 6q square minus 32q plus 50. Now the average cost function is minimum at the output level q equals 4. At the minimum of ac that is at q equals 4, let us find the value of mc. Now in place of q, we will substitute it by 4. 4 raised to the power 2 equals 16. 32 times 4 equals 128 plus 50. 16 times 6 equals 
96 minus 128 plus 50. 96 plus 50 equals 146 minus 128. 146 minus 128 equals 18. Hence, add a minimum of average cost that is at Q equals 4, AC is equal to MC is equal to 18.